Walmart just needs to count their days. They need to count their days. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new $20 challenge for you today. We're in July. If you're new to the channel, it's a $20 challenge. Anything that I purchase with the $20 is used to make the meal. Pretty simple. Nothing extra from the house. So if I wanted to add barbecue sauce, I have to purchase the barbecue sauce, okay? We're gonna go to Walmart. And for this one, I have something called a vegetable galette, okay? It's a pastry with veggies. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make a fill-in. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna use to make fill-in? <laughs> so this right here is iffy because I'm pretty sure I can get the flour, cream and or butter. Either one, because I can make butter or I can buy the butter and the flour for less than $20. But it's everything else that's the problem because I need to make a filling and I'm just like, I don't think I wanna do like a cream filling, like a cream cheese or something like that filling because I just don't have the money for cream cheese. Cream cheese is like six or seven dollars right now, but I have no idea. So that one is tentative. Whatever I come up with after this trip, you will see it because I have no idea. And this is what I want, but I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> Walmart just needs to count their days. They need to count their days. You know, I keep saying that and I keep coming back to Walmart like I have no other options, honestly. I just came in from Walmart and I spent $19.43. Close the door. Okay. I got myself, so remember I said I was going to make a galette with veggies, whatever the case is. Now, the problem is they don't have a lot of loose veggies. They don't. They don't even have a little bit of cauliflower on its own where I can be like oh let me get that for two dollars no nothing like that not even whole cauliflower I didn't see whatever so I didn't get a lot of vegetables I got myself tomatoes and then I was thinking this might be a bad purchase because I could simply gotten the small like a small tomato and put it in but I didn't want that I actually wanted the mini tomatoes not a tomato I had to actually cut up and then I said I say that now and then watch me cut the great tomatoes in half <laughs> it's just one of those things okay so I got myself flour which is 227 I got myself sour cream which is 268 I got parmesan for four dollars and I got myself tomatoes for 297 cream for 458 so I can make butter zucchini for 69 cents a sweet potato for 49 cents and a carrot for 36 cents and that's that's pretty much what it is so my visions of having like a mountain full of vegetables isn't there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the pastry dough and then make the sour cream with the cheese salt and pepper mix that 
lay that flat on the pastry dough and then layer my veggies it is what it is whatever it is it's gonna be okay but yeah that's it i'm gonna go home i'm done <laughs> i'm so done i'm so done i'm so done with today like i'm gonna go home and then i'll show you everything that i got Okay, so I'm back in the house. I went to Walmart and I got some stuff for dinner. <laughs> Maybe lunch, I don't know. But anyways, I spent $19.43. Honestly, I wanted more variety when it came to vegetables. So in that regard, I didn't think too much into this because like I said, I wanna make a galette. So it's a free form pie. Like you make it, you shape it, whatever, right? But the thing is, it needs a little base to give it some depth, but I don't have a lot of vegetables. And I picked up a potato. <laughs> like, honestly, realistically, you can put whatever you want. You can you can do a theme, you can do Mediterranean, you can do Greek, you can do whatever. You can put whatever vegetables you want. I just didn't have the money to pick up all the vegetables that I wanted, and the store didn't have a variety that I wanted. So there's that, okay? But anyways, I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay. So this is every single thing I got today at the store for $19.43. Now, hear me out, okay? I got the flour because in order to make a pie dough, you need flour, okay? <laughs> I got cream because in order to make butter, you need cream. And I need butter for my pie dough, okay? And then I'll have liquid left over. Hello? Do you see what I'm saying? Good. And then I have a sour cream and cheese <laughs> this is gonna be my base this is only gonna be my base with salt and pepper okay so let's do the prices the flour was 227 this cream was 458 I don't know what kind of weird pricing that is this one was 268 again with the weird pricing <laughs> the cheese was four dollars and then I got tomatoes okay the tomatoes were 297 the carrots was 36 cents the, the zucchini was 61 cents i lied the zucchini was 61 cents i was right <laughs> and the potato was 49 cents and the radish was a dollar 47. these are my veggie options okay i'm gonna use all of it well all of these some of this and some of this, okay? And this is gonna be my meal. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out because technically I usually, me personally, use egg wash to wash the pastry so it gets a nice golden color. I think this time around, I'm going to brush it with butter. It's gonna be buttery and it's gonna take a long time to brown, but it'll work. <laughs> and to be honest, it's gonna be delicious no matter what. Yes, I can put potato on it. I think the base, I'll put the base first. So salt and pepper plus the sour cream and the Parmesan cheese. Mix that up, put that on the pie dough. After I make the pie dough, you already know, okay? And then I'll have to decide how I'm gonna slice these. If I'm gonna slice them really thin and really round. But then I have this, this thing too, it's not fat, right? So am I gonna slice it round or I'm gonna do slithers? <laughs> slivers, slivers. Like, you know, little stuff. And then these guys here, they're definitely gonna be round. It is what it is. And the potato is going to be round, but I'm trying I'm gonna try and do it really, really thin. So I think I think it's gonna be a good meal. And I won't use all of this. So I'll have tomatoes for the month. A week or two. <laughs> I have butter and flour. I can do something with butter and flour, but I'm trying not to eat a whole bunch of flour. So I'm trying my best. That's why I brought it back in because I'm trying to eat within proportion. You know what I'm saying? So I'll make it, it'll be cool. It'll be a cool lunch. It's light. Everything is done. Pop it in the oven, boom, we're good. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's good. So like I said, I spent $19.43 and yeah, what you see after this is what you see. It is going to be a galette with vegetables. 
it's just a matter of how I'm going to cut the vegetables and put them in. The tomatoes, I'm definitely cutting them in half. And they're going to be spread out all over. It is what it is, all right? That's it for this portion, and I'll see you back here for another one.